Recent surveys indicate that patent litigation has been going up for the last number of years. Uh, there's been a slight drop off uh, in the last year, perhaps due to business circumstances, but generally the trend has been upward. In an economy like this one, uh, protecting IP or enforcing IP rights, whether they be patents or trademarks or copyrights, becomes absolutely critical. Companies are looking for new revenues. Companies are looking for ways uh, to protect their marketplace and to protect the monopolies that they're rightly given by certain types of IP protection. So I think companies are being far more aggressive than they were in the past about going out into the marketplace and filing lawsuits. Uh, companies are buying intellectual property portfolios, buying patents, with no intention of ever making the product or selling the product, but going out in the marketplace and suing those whom they claim infringe those patents. The marketplace is reacting to these patent trolls by adjusting business models, by taking precautions, but nonetheless, they have to defend against many of these are very legitimate patent claims. Somebody owns a patent. You don't have to be the inventor to own the patent. So if you buy one and you go out and sue somebody who's infringing, that company who is alleged to be infringing has to take measures and defend the case just like they would in any other circumstance. But now they're beginning to adjust and they are filing preemptive strikes. And there are a number of ways to do that as well. Preemptive strikes can be filed by companies in a couple of different ways. One is to file what's called a declaratory judgment action. In other words, go after someone you know is about to sue you for patent infringement and ask a court to declare their patent invalid or to declare that you are not, in fact, infringing on their patent. It's a preemptive strike. Companies that get sued for patent or trademark infringement, particularly patent infringement, have major marketplace concerns. One of those concerns is that their customers tend to get dragged into the litigation. So problem number one, if you are sued for patent infringement, for selling a product that allegedly infringes someone else's patent, you can believe that your customers are going to become witnesses, they're going to be deposed, they're going to be dragged into court, they're going to have worries about whether or not the stream of your product will continue, whether or not they'll have a marketplace to buy the product that they need to run their business. So the very first concern is to defend the lawsuit, but also to protect your place in the market during the two or three years that you're defending that suit. Public communications about lawsuits have to strike a very delicate balance. There is a belief in the marketplace that if you are sued, that you begin from day one to try to shape the ultimate jury pool that will be rendering a decision on your case. And you do that by careful public relations. But the balance you have to strike is that courts have very strict rules about what you're allowed to say and what you're not allowed to say. And courts get very annoyed if you violate their orders and you violate their rules and you step over the bounds by talking too much about the merits of the suit or about the litigants or the judge or the courtroom setting, whatever it may be. So that's a very delicate balance and companies have to walk a very fine line.